Okay, so what we're looking at right now is called Drippy. Um, it's this software that I found that basically allows you to completely automate outbound on Twitter. All right, so if you're a coach, consultant, um, own any business and you wanna run outbound and you basically wanna automate the process, um, this software promises to basically fix that and do that for you. Um, so this video is gonna be my complete review of it. So my experience, um, answer all the basic questions you have and basically answer the question, should you use the software? Um, and is it actually going to help you sign clients on autopilot? All right, big thing that everyone is looking for. Um, so we're in it right here. Um, so I'll just show you basically the, the big things right here. So first thing is you have to find leads. All right, so you basically scrape a, a list of leads. We'll show you how to do that in a moment. And then you set up an automation right here um, to actually automate your outbound campaign with the actual messages that you send. All right, so the outbound message, you can even uh, customize it with AI. Um, and you can send follow-up as well. So let's walk through like what the process looks like um, and what I've found using this. So first thing you have to do is find this new lead source. So what we do is, okay, so we go to, um, whoops, lead scraper. It's early in the morning, I'm just starting my day. But anyway, we go to lead scraper and then we add a data source. So most of what you're gonna be doing is probably gonna be adding from an account. So basically scraping, um, you know, uh, someone's followers. So for example, I'll do my own followers. So we'll go HTTP as hopefully I type this in correctly. Slash the Jack plus so this is my own account. So for example, Oh, that's not me at all. What the heck? All right, here we go. So a little bit of error there. I haven't seen that before a little bit weird, but anyways, um, what you do here is you select the data. So you're probably gonna do followers. Um, so you select this and it'll basically start scraping my list of, you know, 139,000 followers or so. So you add the source. All right, next once we actually add the source, um, go ahead and add filters here. So this is super valuable because you're probably thinking, okay, like um, what about if they're located in a lower income country or what if, you know, they're not my actual, you know, target clients I'm going after. Um, you obviously don't want to send outbound to like random people. It's just not gonna be as effective and it's also can be you know, annoying. Um, so here we have filters. These are really valuable. So first big one that you're probably going to use is the number of followers. Um, so this would be especially if you have like a, a B to C type of offer with a mass market, like could be fitness, could be relationships, anything that has like a really big market. Um, and you're talking people who probably like don't have a personal brand. All right, you want to target consumers. So you can add this and you basically do, you know, number of followers is less than, you know, let's say 300 or 500 people. And you go ahead and add this filter in here. All right, it's updating the lead list here. So we have 116,000 people who actually fit those requirements. And then other things you can look at, the other big ones is gonna be the bio contents. So you can filter leads by the contents that they do have in their bio, or you can exclude um, if they have certain keywords in your bio that kind of um, disqualify them from your offer. So like, for example, for me, um, so that I do, I work with you know coaches, consultants. Um, if like, I don't work with people in the B2B space or like agencies, so I could disclude or exclude words like, you know, let's say B2B. Let's say I don't want anyone who has this in their bio. So it'd be a great filter to add right here. So anything like that for your offer, you can go ahead and, you know, eliminate those people from your lead list, which is awesome. And then you could also require them to have certain, you know, words in their bio. Uh, so let's say you want this to be a super qualified outbound campaign. And let's say you only work with, um, you know, dads, for example. A lot of guys in the fitness space, they work you know, specifically with dads. So let's say um, you can have these keywords in the bio. Obviously not every dad is gonna have, you know, something like this in their bio, but um, obviously people who do are definitely gonna be a dad. So this would really qualify the lead list. Let's see what this does to the actual number. So we have about 2K leads all of a sudden. So huge drop, as you can see, cut off over 100,000 people. But now what you're left with is probably gonna be a very qualified list of people who, you know, fit your ideal avatar. So that's just an example right there. So let's say we hit next uh, and we can look at what this, you know, comes out with. So boom. So we have this guy, who's obviously it looks like he's located in a lower income country, but we have these other guys as well. Um, father, dad, you know, entrepreneur. And I'll show you as well how to filter out um, by location as well. So you can only target like United States, Canada, et cetera, um, those locations, um, which is the cool part. So dun, dun, dun. let's go ahead and save this. So we go ahead and give this a name. So we'll go test number one, hit save, cool. All right, and this is just like a pure dummy example, by the way. So I wouldn't 
like exactly do this. Like it wouldn't make sense to scrape my following for this. Just <laughs> disclaimer. But anyways, what it's doing is going ahead and importing those actual that lead list here. Um, and you can actually go ahead and set up your automation right away. You don't have to wait for it to do anything. But you can set up your automation. And what you do want to do is select cold DM 2.0. And so we have our lead source right here, test number one. So it has 11 leads already loaded in. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And it's going to ask us for this AI message generator type. So I always go with the script personalizer. This, like, you don't really need this. I, I haven't played around with that too much, but I have not been a big fan of AI for outbound because it's just like, I'm sure you've gotten like awful messages from someone um, where it's like super like clear it's AI. It's like, hey, I like your content. I see you have a business, blah, blah, blah. Like it's super general. It's so, it, it's disgusting. Like, please don't do that. But here's what I, I use this for. So what it asks for here is context and then the actual app on message and then some settings that we can set up. So context, you can literally just write some basic context. It doesn't really matter at all here. You can say like, I, you know, I help, um, coaches get more clients cool we can just put that in for context and then for, for this ai personalization literally the only personalization i use is first name so i'll say like hey first name and it is good at using at using ai to find the first name so cool thing is like even if they don't have their their real first name in their username or in their their profile like let's say this was like a random word right here um it can still find it like in the username or in parts of its of other Twitter profile, which is pretty crazy. But anyways, you can say, hey, first name, and you type your alpha message. Uh, want to to give me, you know, $1,000, please. <laughs> All right, so please don't send that as an alpha message. This is not gonna be a course on outbound messages, what that looks like, what's good. Uh, maybe I'll do something like that in the future if you guys like this. But you type in your outbound message here and you have your personalization. Again, I don't recommend using like any AI personalization because it tends to be trash. It just tends to be so fake and I hate it. I'm sure you could find a way to make it good if you really, really test some things. But I like it simple. I like it straightforward, like a direct offer like this. Want to give me a thousand bucks, please? Could probably get some, some decent reply right here. We'll see. Um, we'll put in our settings right here. Um, really, uh, you don't have to change anything for this. Um, and just hit next. And then you can add your follow-ups here. So this is another cool thing. So I definitely recommend you have follow-ups. So you can put in your first follow-up here. You can wait, you know, three days. Say, yo, why didn't you respond to my message? The WTF. So you can say something like that. You hit add another follow-up. Now I'm mad. Please reply. All right. So you type in your follow-ups here. Obviously, like, don't do this, like, don't copy these messages. Like, I don't know if this script is going to work. It might work well, it might not, but no guarantees with that. But basically it sends you follow-up, uh, these follow-up messages only if they haven't replied. So this is a really cool feature um, because you don't have to like keep track of leads so closely in your DM, especially it can get like really bogged down with hundreds of outbound messages. So it only sends these to people who haven't replied. So it's automatic. So you don't even have to worry about sending that initial follow-up, which is really cool. So we hit next. Give your automation name so let's say you know test number one doesn't matter then you can also set up how many messages you want to send um, per day per hour um and this is cool one thing you want you want to be aware of is twitter's dm limit is 500 messages per day um now with that said for some accounts they won't actually allow you to hit even that many messages um, if your account isn't like technically warmed up or right, so by warmed up i mean your account is like newer it doesn't use twitter too much you're not active on it if you're a new account or you have anything like that, it's not gonna allow you to send that many alpha messages just because Twitter wants to stop anything like bots or you know crazy things going on. So that's the reason for that. Um, and as far as like um, problems with Twitter goes, if you're like scared of this banning you or causing problems for your account, um, I'm not gonna like promise you your account won't get banned because I'm not just not gonna make a promise like that. But from my experience, I've never seen or heard of anyone getting banned from using this software anything similar to this um and also from what i've heard twitter is um they've been more lenient as far as like bans go so they don't really ban too many people unless it's like it's completely egregious like you're doing something crazy awful um they might like worst case they give you like a you know one day suspension or something um and that would be crazy if that happened i haven't had any problems with this um, but that's just my two cents but anyways we have this you can set up how many messages to send and then definitely what you want to do is hit that advanced settings and this is where you can do the AI location check. So this is huge. So you can 
you know, select this, you want to do a minimum GDP per capita and you select it, you put it in right there. I'm going to include certain locations. So if you want to include like US, Canada, whatever you want to do, you can exclude locations. So this is super helpful right here. So you only reach out to higher, you know, income country leads um, or more likely to you know, pay you money. You can also do this language check. So make sure that they speak English. Um, you can do a do not contact list. You can do an auto likes where you automatically like, like one of their tweets. Uh, would make more sense if you're reaching out to like personal brands. Um, you can do a lot of different things here, but yeah, that's the big things I use. You can also do the activity check to make sure that they're active on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, you can set up all these tools here and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So basically next you'd hit start. I don't want to start this automation. I should probably change um, the follow-up side I put in to make sure it doesn't send that out because I don't want that to send. I'll go ahead and do that real quick and I'll be back. All right, so we go ahead and we started the automation. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this pause button. But basically other cool things you can do here is it'll also track um, replies for you. So you can see reply rate. You can see how many are like positive replies, um, how many are negative or how many are neutral. Um, so it's a really cool feature. So you can track easily, like automatically track um, total messages sent and then your reply rate as well. Um, you can also even go to this messages tab and scroll through like your actual Twitter DMs within Drippy. Um, so it's pretty cool. I don't use it too much. Honestly, I just use the, the native Twitter app, but it's a cool feature, I suppose. Um, and yeah, as far as my total review on this, so my experience, uh, for me personally, in my offer, um, it doesn't make too much sense to use Drippy. It, it's a little bit harder to use since my qualifications are t quite tight for who I want to work with. I want, you know, I want to work with the coaches who are use a little bit further along, uh, making a little bit mon of money in their business. And I only want to work with, you know, this specific avatar. So for anyone who's like very specific in like more of a B2B space, um, I can see it being harder to use, but anyone who's more of a mass market offer, um, fitness, relationships, um, habits, addictions, finance, any mass market niches like that, um, this tool definitely makes sense. All right. I've I do recommend this to my clients. A lot of those guys are having great results with it. You know, booking calls every single day on autopilot using this. Um, so definitely do recommend it. The other thing I will add is you, act, you have to be good at outbound. You have to be good at the actual outbound system. All right, so your outbound message must be good. Um, if it's trash, like this is not gonna work. <laughs> like you have to actually have the, the, the good skills of lead generation and client acquisition. If you don't have that, then it's not going to work, period. So you have to have that skill down, first of all. Um, but yeah, that's what I obviously help my clients with. But yeah, if you are interested in using a tool like this, if you want to generate more leads and really do it on autopilot, and you do fit those criteria I was talking about, I definitely do recommend this tool. Um, I do have a link below that is an affiliate link, but I believe if you use it, you get, I think it's 10% off, and then you get a free trial as well. So if you want that, if you want to try this out, you can try it out with a free trial and get 10% off. Um, use that link down below. But that would really be my complete uh, review of Trippy um, and why I do recommend it to most people, but not all people. All right, so that's my review. Hope this helps, and I will see you in the next one.